everybody, welcome back. We've got a real quick Stata tip uh, to look at today, using a macro to generate a variable list. So this can save us some time, save us some brain power, uh, both of which are very often in short supply uh, in my cases. So let's, let's take a look. So you may be familiar with uh, the concept of a macro, a local or a global macro uh, from basic programming, maybe from using Excel. Uh, well, Stata has the same uh, basic programming building block that we can utilize. So in general, uh, a macro, as we have the, the definition here, a string of characters that represents or contains some additional elements or stand for another string of characters. Uh, in our case, what the macro is going to stand for is a list of variables in our data set. Uh, so in the state of programming language, we can generate or create a either a local or a global macro. Uh, so for our purposes, again, just scratching the surface here, we can think of a global macro as a more permanent fixture. Right? It's not going to be easily overwritten uh, by programs or do files that you create. So once you generate it, it's going to persist throughout your status session. Uh, a local macro, that think of it more of a temporary element. Uh, it can be overwritten uh, by subsequent uh, programs or do files that you might call up. So in general, for our little purpose here, we're going to use the global option and a real, real simple set of commands here uh, to create a list of variables. We use the command global, right? And then we name the list, whatever we want to call it. In our example here, the generic example, list one. Uh, and then we put in the names of the variables that we're going to want to call up as a group. So x1, x2, x3. Then any command that you would apply to a list of variables like summarize or uh, perhaps most importantly uh, a regress command where you'll have a string a set of uh, explanatory variables uh, we don't have to type them all out right so if we're running multiple specifications multiple estimation strategies that all use the same core list of uh, right hand side or x variables this will be a nice easy way to call that up so let's just walk through it real quick in stata uh, let's bring in one of our uh, Stata example data sets. We'll use that sysuse command, and we'll use the sysuse auto. So again, these are uh, automobile characteristics. We might be doing a pricing model, right? And let's create a, a variable list here. So let's use the global command. And in this case, we might uh, think of these as our kind of core X variable. So we might want to think about predicting price using miles per gallon. Uh, and say so the weight and the, the length of the car. Okay, uh, so the X list, that's gonna be the name of the, the macro or the list, and then it's gonna contain those three variables. Now, as you see in our generic case here, if we wanna call this up, say if we wanna use the summarize command on all the variables in our list, we can't just type the name of the list, right? So it's gonna be looking for that as a variable. So we have to distinguish a macro or a list from a variable name. So that's where we use that dollar sign prefix, right? So if we do summarize or sum dollar sign X list, well, there we get our summary stats for all the variables in that list that we created. And then lastly, if we want to predict uh, the car price, right, with all of those variables in our list, do exactly the same thing. We can't just type it out as the, the list name, we've got to use that dollar sign prefix okay, so Stata can distinguish. Uh, so x dollar sign x list. And then we can add additional variables to that, right? So if we want to say, oh, if those are the core variables, let's see if this uh, repair record in 1978 uh, adds additional explanatory power. So as long as we have that x list, that dollar sign x list in our command, those are always going to be there. And then we can add to it later on. So again, absolutely scratching the surface here, uh, but it's a nice little a nice little thing we can add into our repertoire, save us some keystrokes, save us some time. So if you have any questions or if you have any ideas of uh, uh, additional things you want to look into, uh, leave it in the comments uh, and hope you have a great day. Thank you.